all right so today we have a black and decker quick press iron right the problem with this iron is that the person who have it them said it dropped twice and from it dropped the second time it stopped work so what we're going to do we're going to do a check and see where the problem lies all right so in order to pull the back off there is a screw if you notice how the screw looks i do have this type of screw so what i did is this i took a welding rod right and i beat down one end and then i cut a groove to create that you get what i say and then now this now will go like this unscrew so you see it so this is what i have to do because i don't have the screwdriver so i take a welding rod and cut a groove to create and if you notice the screw comes out all right and then we're going to remove this and then what we're going to do now we're going to check from this point to this point to ensure the card is okay all right and then we're going to put the meat on these two points and then turn the dial all right so stay tuned for that all right so the meter is select on the right what i want all right so now i'm going to check from this end to one end nothing all right so i get something there all right come on this side we're getting something there and nothing over there so this from here to here is okay all right so now what we're going to do now put one here put another here don't let it touch and then we're going to turn the dial of this all right we're not getting nothing we should have gotten something like this you get what i'm saying i'm not getting that so i'm going to go in further into the iron and see where the problem lies all right so stay tuned for that all right so what we're going to do now going to remove this screw right here all right if you can notice this crack so grab due to the fall that it that happened all right put that right there yes yeah, so i'm going to remove hold on all right this seems like this one cannot be removed it should be able but first i'm going to lift off this all right take that off take off this all right there are two screw right here one over there right so we're going to remove those all right remove this screw all right all right i had to prize this out 
in order to get to the screw right here all right sometimes them hide these screws some places that you're not going to expect and then you cause damage to the iron so yeah first i'm pulling the iron like this that i actually have to lift up that you know and then you can easily price this up now Alright, so I don't need to pull this side. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna just screw it back. Alright, so we're just going to remove these screw. Alright, so we don't need to pull that. Alright. But in most irons, you have to pull right here in order to go further down into the iron. Alright. So I'm gonna pull these screws and let you see. Alright, so those screws were removed. If you notice, you can see a crack right here. Crack along this side. Alright, so we're going to remove one, two, three screw and see what where the problem lies. Alright. Stay tuned for that. So as you can see, let's see if I can get some light. Alright. So this is a thermal fuse. This is a thermistor, alright, and these points, the elements run here, alright, so if you notice, one side of a thermal fuse come right here, and the other side come on this leg, right here to this terminal block, alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to check the element, if, it, if it's okay, and then from there now, we'll check the thermistor, and then from there now, we'll go to the fuse, alright, so put my meter on uh, all right so let's just see all right so now i'm going to check the right here and here the element is good so now i'm going to check from this screw head right here to this one for the thermostat all right so one here one there you hear the buzz already so i'm going to turn this all right so this like i see the reading on it and then i'm going to turn the knob Alright, so that is okay. So now we're going to check the fuse now. Which I'm going to just turn the meter like this. Put the meter right there. Right here. Alright, so one leg of the fuse come right here. Alright. Put the meter here. The lead, I should say. And then the other one here. No sound. So this thermal fuse. This thermal fuse is blown. All right see meter is working so this is another thermal fuse if you can see it says 250 volts right temperature 280 at 10 amp so i'm going to check it let you see fuse is okay all right so this fuse, thermal fuse, will be using in this iron. Alright, so stay tuned for that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove this screw right here. Remove this screw and remove the, the screw from here, this terminal here in order to get to the fuse to, and then change it. Alright? And look how inside of this iron dirty. So I'm going, this will be cleaned up. Alright, it will be clean up and the crack, the crack that was up here, I'm going to see if I can correct that as well. Alright, so let's get to that. 
So we'll just remove this piece of metal that hold down the fuse. Alright. take things from right best that way so you won't lose it all right all right may that stay right there all right and then we're going to remove this terminal here this leg all right just like that Like that. And we're good. Alright. So put this back in place. Alright. So the thermal fuse is this. Alright, and if we to put back the meter on this, test by lead, it is okay. See, nothing. So the fuse is blown. Alright, so we're going to replace that. Alright, so this is the new fuse, and this is the old one. Alright. So you will know, see you now where I put one end here and the other end here. So this is a good fuse, alright? So this will be put in that. Alright. So turn off the meter. Then I'm going to put on the sleeve now to for it. Alright. So I'm going to make you see that in a short while, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so what, we, what I'm going to do now, as you can see, take this off, alright, and then Unscrew this. So hold on. Trying to get this thing properly. Alright. So now and then what you're going to do now. This one will be going on this. Alright. Alright, first, what I'm going to do to catch it properly, I'm going to just run it through and then catch it in a terminal block to get a proper length. Alright. So that is what I did. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to put Put this. Hold on. Alright, so put that there. Alright. And then bend this like that. So, therefore, this will be like that. Alright. Alright, so this is how I do it. Alright, so I'm gonna fit it up and then test it, let you see it. Alright, so stay tuned for that.